Hi children, how are you all? Welcome to EVS class. Today we are going to learn about lesson number 24, Journey of the Cloud. In this lesson, we are going to travel with the cloud. Imagine that you are sitting on the cloud so that you can see the earth from the sky. First, cloud saw a seashore. It was very cold. It also saw a row of coconut trees. There was a blue sea and the waves come to the seashore and created foam. There was wind blowing strongly. So the cloud has moved up little high. If you go to a beach, you can also enjoy the breeze and beauty of sea waves. The cloud then moved and felt that it was hot and sultry. There were heaps and heaps of sand everywhere. Strong winds were blowing. There were no trees. Can you guess where we are? Yes, we are in desert. Climate of desert will be hot and we cannot see plants as they cannot grow in the sands of desert. The cloud reached a broad, flat and fertile land with flowers, rivers. It is called a plain. Plains are usually green because its soil is filled with nutrients. It is very suitable for agriculture. Then the cloud reached a broad and even land slightly above the sea level. It is an upland. This is called a plateau. If the cloud raised very high and saw mountain ranges, there was a river flowing down the hill. This is called a waterfalls. Have you seen a waterfalls children? Yes, it is a good experience taking bath, standing under the waterfalls. The Gaganachukki and Barachukki are two waterfalls near us. Usually, mountains would be 600 meters high. These waterfalls Falls down join a valley. A valley is a narrow region between two hills. Rivers flow through the valleys. Valleys will be green because of the water and fertility of soil. The cloud arose up higher and higher and reached the mountains. Mountains are very high hills. It is more than 1000 meters above the sea level. At sea, some places it is covered with snow. You would have seen snow covered Himalayan mountain range. Are they not beautiful to see? Let us learn the difference between hills and mountains. Hills are smaller landforms which are shorter than mountains. They are less steep and are easier to climb. Mountains. Mountains are larger landforms which are taller than hills. More steep and challenging to climb. Did you enjoy learning the beautiful features of earth like seashore, desert, plains, plateaus, hills and mountains. Some of these may be in your surroundings. Next time when you come across them, identify them. Other than these physical features, we also need air, water, soil for our survival.
Air is required for breathing without air. Living organism cannot survive air. Air is nothing but mixture of gases. Observe the picture. We can see factories letting out smoke. What only factories, vehicles also releases harmful gases into the environment. If we breathe this polluted air, it causes diseases. It is our responsibility to keep the air around us clean. How can we do this? We should use public transport. We should not burst crackers. Keep our vehicle in good condition. Avoiding plastic. Planting more trees. Not only air, water is also essential of all living beings. Water is required for drinking, cleaning, cooking, agriculture and uh, for industries. We pollute the water by joining dirty and clean water into the source of water. Some people are washing their vehicles in water. Some people wash their clothes and utensils. So, water is polluted. The polluted water is not suitable for use. If we drink the polluted water, we get many diseases. Let us see how we can prevent pollution of water. Water from the industries should be cleaned before joining the water bodies. What we should not clean our pet animals and vehicles in the drinking water source. We can reuse the water whenever possible. Create awareness among the people re regarding conservation of water. Soil is also a very important natural resource for living beings. Isn't it children? Soil is necessary for growth of plants to build houses and to make bricks. Nowadays soil is being polluted due over use of plastics, chemicals, fertilizers dumping of garbage and medicinal waste in the soil. It is our duty to conserve soil. We can do it by restricting use of pesticides and fertilizers, avoiding plastic, avoiding dumping of water underground, not contaminating industrial waste into soil. The next topic for this discussion is weather and climate. Let us do a small activity. Now let us match the pictures with the correct sentence. Sun. We have to match with it is very hot. Cloud. We have to match with it is cloudy. Rain. We have to match with it is raining. Wind. We have to match with wind is blowing. We can see in four situations. These show the changes that occur in a day. This is called weather. The weather changes during the day or day by day. Weather observed in a place for 30 to 35 years from climate of that region. The sun of this long time weather is called climation. Based on the climate of the region, life of the people changes like dress of people, type of house, industries, crops. People in cold climates wear warm clothes and people in hot climates wear cotton clothes. The house with slopey roof or 
constructed in the places of heavy rainfall. Industries are usually built on plains with water facilities. The crops such as jowar, ragi, etc. are are they in very hot places with sandy rainfall. Let us learn the difference between weather and climate. Weather is the day to day variation of atmospheres conditions locally but climate is the variation of weather conditions over long periods of time usually years. Weather condition changes from time to time. Seasons occur due to the change in weather condition. In our country, we can see three seasons. Summer se in summer season, there will be heat. We sweat more. So, we wear cotton clothes. We like to drink fruit juices, buttermilk, eat ice creams and fruits like grapes, watermelons, orange, etc. We also take vegetables like cucumber. February to June or summer season in our country. In rainy season, there will be water everywhere. We can see lightning and hear thunders. Wear warm clothes, raincoats into season. In this season, we carry umbrella and like to eat hot and spicy foods. We also enjoy weaving rainbow. Children, have you seen a rainbow? Yes, rainbow has seven colors. The colors in rainbows are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. When sunlight falls on the rain droplets present in atmosphere, rainbows are formed in July, August, September and October months. We usually get rains. The season which is very cold is winter season. In this season, we wear warm clothes like sweaters, jackets, mufflers, and caps. Trees shed their leaves in this season. We like to eat hot food in this season. November, December and January are winter months in our country. Children, did you understand this lesson? We'll meet in next class. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.